Nat Swirl, it's your boy AJ. It's Ness News. Hit that like button. So we got some breaking, breaking news, Ness Nation. We just got the news just right now that James Harden has been diagnosed with right hamstring tightness. According to Malika Andrews off ESPN, he's been diagnosed with right hamstring tightness. He is out for game two against the Milwaukee Bucks. So we got some good news, y'all. Thank God. Nets Nation, I know we talked about this last night in my stream. We thought it was going to be a little bit worse. We thought it was a strain, but I guess according to um, the uh, reports, it's saying that it's hamstring tightness. Now, I have also here, Brian Lewis also stated that Steve Nash quote said, I'm definitely hopeful on seeing Harden. I hope he heals very quickly. And then also Joe Harris said Harden seems to be in spirits today at practice and was talkative and inquisitive talking talking part in film sessions. He said Harden is still taking on a leadership role and is in good spirits. So we all thought, sorry y'all for all the notifications, my, my phone and everything's going crazy. Um, but yes, Joe, so Harden has been diagnosed with right hamstring tightness. Now, we have seen that in the past, um, Harden had the right hamstring tightness the first time, which turned into a strain, I guess, during that Knicks game. You remember, the same thing happened during the Knicks game. He left, and then he was set back to 20 games missed when he um, strained it. He had the tightness first. He came back too early, and then the strain happened, and then 20 games, he missed 20 games. So hopefully, I think the Nets will do a better job in round two of the playoffs of um, him being better than, you know, making sure he's rested, healed, and properly ramped up before he comes back. Don't want to rush Harden back too fast. You know what I'm saying? I know Nets Nation wants to see Harden back, but we don't want to be don't want to rush him again because we rushed him the first time and then the tightness turned into a strain so we don't want the strain to happen again so i think the nets are going to be very very careful here with harden's um um how they ramp him up how they rest him you know i know again we're going through a very dangerous series with the milwaukee bucks but again we don't want to rush anything you know what i'm saying we got to think about the big picture you know we got to think about the big picture Nets nation but I didn't want to make a quick video. I just want to make a quick video to update y'all. It is good news, though. It is good news that it's only right hamstring tightness. So we'll see. We'll see. You know what I'm saying? Um, worst case scenario, if, if we win tomorrow, if we win tomorrow, um, this will put us in a great, great position going up 2-0, going back to Milwaukee, that we won't have to <laughs> rush hard and back. You know what I'm saying? 2-0 going to Milwaukee is perfect for us. You know what I'm saying? Um and then, then we oh I just got a Jeff, a Jeff Green update. Uh, Steve Nash said Jeff Green is progressing nicely and expected to play at some point in this series. So uh, I guess Jeff Green is still up in the air. I'm not sure if Jeff Green will be back for Game Two. I probably doubt it. Um, the news will probably break um, later on, but it looks like Jeff Green is progressing nicely. Um, again, I didn't expect to see Jeff Green in this series until um, like Game Four, Game Three. Um, so, oh wait here, Malika Andrew just ruled out for game two. Steve Nash said that he's just been ruled out for game two. Um, he's progressing nicely. Okay. So he's out for game two. Y'all No Jeff Green either, but yeah, I didn't expect to see Jeff Green either until game three, game four. Uh, I'm sorry about all these updates because I'm getting these updates right now while I'm making this video, y'all, my phone, Twitter, everything going crazy. Um, but yeah, we won't see Jeff Green, um, next game either. So. Uh, but it's still great news. Everybody's heart dropped when Harden went out. So it's just good, good, good news um, that he has been diagnosed with tightness. So basically, we just got to rest him. And hopefully, KD and Kyrie can um, hold off the Bucks. You know, hold off the Bucks in this series while Harden gets better. Um, again, make sure you hit that like button. Um, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at NetsKingdom711. I post updates. I post Nets news on there, too. Um, and I got another update here. It says that James, oh, this is from Dr. Raj Paul Brar on Twitter. He says, tightness very means likely they didn't find any overt tearing on the MRI, meaning he avoided a grade two hamstring strain, grade two injury. So again, it's good news. Um, they didn't find any overt tearing. It's tightness. Um, I posted a chart from another doctor that had um, the recovery time from MRIs, the severity of the MRIs. 
So he had grade one. I'll put it up on the screen here. Grade one was seven to 14 days. Grade two, four to six weeks. Grade three, see you next season. So I'm thinking that since um, that doctor just said that uh, the, it's hamstring tightness, which he avoided the grade two, I'm thinking at most Harden has this in that recovery time. You see the grade one, I think it's around grade one. It could be less than grade one. Um, but I think that's the um, time period that we should give the amount of like rest to Harden, you know, at least seven days at the, you know, what I'm saying seven days should be fine for Harden. Um, but again, it's all about everybody's body is different. Everybody's recovery process is different. Some people heal faster than others. I'm just saying that I don't, I don't think we should rush Harden back. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen this movie before. I've seen teams try to rush him like remember uh, when they rushed KD back and he tore his Achilles you know what I'm saying I I've seen this movie before and we don't want to rush Harding back and something worse happens again so um, again it's good news that it's not severe it's it's tightness right hamstring tightness um, so hopefully uh, again it's next man up mentality, you know, next man up mentality. And we did that last last night with Mike James, Blake Griffin, Claxton. Those guys got to step up, you know what I'm saying? Those guys got to help Katie and Kyrie hold the fort down, and I think they can do it. Again, Jeff Green, we should see Jeff Green during the Caesar series. He's progressing nicely, so hopefully we see Jeff Green around that game four, game three area. Hopefully he'll be back. But as far as Harden, um, I don't think – we should just be expecting him to come back this series. You know what I'm saying? I think at the most, you know, if the game seven happens, it's it's tough to say. You know, a lot of things change. Emotions change. You know what I'm saying? The Nets go down to game seven uh, in a Bucks series. You know, it's tough. It's really tough to hold a player back and protect them from themselves. You know what I'm saying? You just think about when KD uh, in the Warriors series in the finals, you know, they were down. They were about to be on brink of elimination. And, you know, they they thought it was the right thing to bring KD back because they didn't want to get eliminated, you know. And, and it's tough. It's tough, you know, because you're thinking about the player long term, you know, and then you're thinking about right now. You're thinking about a championship ring right now. So it's just it's hard, you know, it's hard to balance the two. But and, and let me know in the comments how you guys feel. Um. So hard in mind probably will be out for at least seven days. Um, it's tightness. So what do you guys think? Should what happens if we're going into game seven? Do you guys would you guys bring Harden back? You know, if Harden progresses, let's say Harden goes ahead of schedule and he feels better in, with his hamstring. Do you would you guys bring him back in this series? Um, or would you hold him off? You know, would you hold him off and sit him? You know, and wait till the Eastern Conference Finals to bring him back. You know, give him more time. Um, but if this gets dangerous, we'll, we'll, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. It's good news, though. Good news. We should think positive. Harden isn't severely hurt. It's just hamstring tightness. So let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this whole situation. It's your boy AJ. Hit that like button. I'm out.